Recently, the largest Martian rock from the planet of Mars sold for an astonishing $5.3 million. Like many of us, you're probably thinking, where was it found, or what made this one special aside from its size? Here's the story, and if you enjoy, feel welcome to subscribe to me for more interesting facts about space. Back to where this Martian wonder came from. One November morning in the Sahara Desert, the sand shimmered across the endless dunes. For Hamid Aljari, a veteran nomadic collector from the Agadez region of Niger, the searing heat was a small price to pay for the thrill of the hunt. He'd spent decades combing the desert's wind-scoured plains for space rocks, black stones with odd shapes and stranger weights, unlike anything born from Earth. Most of them turned out to be nickel-iron meteorites or terrestrial imposters. Still, he knew the signs, the feel, the density that no textbook could teach. That day, half buried in the sand, he found something that immediately sent a chill down his spine. It was a dark, jagged stone nearly the size of a watermelon, dense, unusually smooth on one side, almost like melted glass. The color was off, darker than usual, with hints of olive green and deep burned crimson. As he knelt to brush the sand from it, his fingers tingled with intuition. This wasn't just a rock. This was something else. Word spread quickly. A fragment of the stone was chipped and sent off to the Shanghai Astronomy Museum, one of the few institutions with the lab capabilities and expertise to confirm what many suspected. Weeks later, the results came back. The rock wasn't from Earth at all. It wasn't even from the asteroid belt. It was from Mars. And not just a piece, but the largest confirmed Martian meteorite ever discovered. You might be wondering, how did a rock from Mars end up in the sands of Niger? The answer lies millions of years in the past. Roughly 5 million years ago, a violent asteroid impact rocked the surface of Mars. The force of the explosion was so intense that pieces of the Martian crust were ejected with enough velocity to escape the planet's gravity entirely. Those fragments drifted through space, orbiting the sun for eons before one particular shard this very meteorite, entered Earth's atmosphere. It would have been a spectacular fireball, likely seen only by the desert sky and the silence of time. But by some miracle, the rock survived re-entry and crash-landed in the Sahara, where it would remain hidden for untold years, baked by the sun, covered in dust, and waiting for someone like Hamid to stumble across it. It was officially cataloged as NWA 16788, Northwest Africa, 16788, and its composition revealed an astonishing story. It was a type of volcanic rock known as all living microgabroic shergatite, forged deep beneath the Martian surface. Scientists identified minerals such as pyroxene, olivine, and even masculinite, a rare form of glass created under extreme pressure. The specimen weighed over 24 kilograms dwarfing the next largest Martian meteorite ever found. Geochemically pristine, it bore almost no signs of Earth weathering. In scientific terms, it was as close to a fresh Martian surface sample as anyone on Earth had ever held. But it wasn't just a geological marvel. It was also about to become very valuable. When Sotheby's announced its 2025 Geek Week auction in New York, it was already shaping up to be a major event. Rare fossils, Meteorites and space memorabilia filled the catalog, but one listing immediately stole the spotlight. Lot number 78, NWA 16788, the largest known Martian meteorite on Earth. Even the auction house couldn't contain its excitement. A statement from Sotheby's head of natural history, Cassandra Bell, called it a geological time capsule from another world, a true treasure of cosmic origin. The pre-auction estimate hovered between $2 million and $4 million. Collectors, researchers, and private museums took note. Meanwhile, Hamid, the man who discovered the rock, had already sold it months earlier for a modest fee. Enough to sustain his family for years, but nowhere near what it was about to command on the open market. The auction took place on a sweltering July afternoon in a sleek, climate-controlled room packed with anticipation. Bidding began online with two advance offers. 
one at $1.9 million, another just over $2 million. Then the live action kicked in. Hands went up. Paddles flicked. Voices called in from Dubai, Tokyo, and Los Angeles. The numbers climbed slowly but steadily. $3 million. Then $3.80. Then $4.10. The increments shrank. $100,000. Then $50,000. Finally, after nearly 15 tense minutes, the gavel slammed down. Hammer price, $4.3 million. With fees, a jaw-dropping $5.3 million. A new world record for a Martian meteorite. The buyer's identity? Kept secret. Speculation ran wild. Was it a tech billionaire? A private space collector? A foreign government eager to own a piece of Mars? No one knew. All Sotheby's would say was that it went to a private individual with a deep appreciation for planetary science. While auctioneers and collectors celebrated the sale, the scientific community was less enthusiastic. Dr. Lee Hannigan, a planetary geologist at MIT, voiced what many felt in private. It's a breathtaking specimen. But the fact that it's now in private hands means there's a good chance it won't be available for study. And that's a tragedy. She wasn't wrong. NWA 16788 wasn't just a pretty rock. It was a messenger from another planet. Within its crystal lattice lay evidence of ancient Martian volcanism, possibly even clues about subsurface water or the geologic conditions that may have once supported life. If the buyer allowed researchers access, it could still become a window into Mars's deep past. But if it vanished into a private vault, it might be lost to science forever. Yet, Others saw the sale as a symbol of the growing public fascination with space. It tells me people are hungry for Mars, said Dr. Arturo Sandoval, curator at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. It's no longer just a distant red dot in the sky. It's real. You can hold it in your hand. And for the right price, you can own a piece of it. That duality, the scientific loss and the cultural gain, became the defining tension around the story of NWA 16788. Was it a priceless artifact or a high-end collectible? Was it a tool for science or a trophy for the ultra-wealthy? Perhaps, in a way, it was both. In the months following the record-breaking sale, rumors swirled. Some believed the meteorite had been shipped to a private space museum in Dubai. Others whispered it had been purchased by a Silicon Valley billionaire to be encased in a display between moon rocks and Tesla memorabilia. A few even speculated it was bought by a government, perhaps as part of a National Space Agency's research archive. But as of today, no public confirmation has ever been made. NWA 16788, the most extraordinary Martian meteorite on Earth, had slipped quietly from view. Still, its story reverberated far beyond the walls of Sotheby's. In Agadez, Hamid became something of a local legend. Interviews in regional papers and radio broadcasts hailed him as the man who touched Mars. The payment he'd received, while nowhere near $5.3 million, allowed him to build a home, send his children to school, and invest in better tools for future expeditions. For him, it was life-changing. And the story of NWA 16788 sparked something else too, a renewed interest in planetary science. Schools that had never heard of shergatites began studying meteorites. Space documentaries highlighted the event. Mars, the planet, the myth, the mystery, entered pop culture again in full force. NASA even weighed in, using the moment to highlight its own Mars sample return mission which aims to bring actual Martian material to Earth within the next decade. But until then, meteorites like NWA 16788 remain our best, if imperfect, link to the red planet. In the end, the story of NWA 16788 is a tale of extremes. It began millions of years ago on a violent Mars, blasted into space by an ancient cataclysm. It drifted across the void, silent and unseen, until gravity pulled it into our atmosphere. It survived the burning descent. It landed in the desert, untouched by man or machine, until a lone meteorite hunter found it under the searing sun of the Niger sands. 
From there, it passed through labs, crossed oceans, and found its way to a gleaming auction room under the lights of Manhattan, where it became a symbol of value, mystery, and humanity's deepening obsession with the cosmos. It is a rock, yes, but more than that, it's a reminder, a reminder that we are small, that we live in a solar system alive with stories, that the universe doesn't just exist in telescopes or on rocket launches, it sometimes falls at our feet. As we move into a future filled with Mars missions, asteroid mining, and perhaps even human settlement beyond Earth, NWA 16788 is a preview of what's to come. A piece of a planet that, one day, we may walk upon. A keepsake from a world not so distant anymore. And for one lucky and very wealthy collector, it's a $5.3 million message in a bottle sent across time and space.